This is Mike Cleveland with Setting Captives Free. We're going to be starting this series called What's Most Important? Uh, as I'm speaking to you right now, it is April of 2020 and we're in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. And people begin to think at this point, what is most important? Things such as food, uh, toilet paper, things that we need that are essential. And so today, I'm just going to look with you at a passage of Scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Paul writes to the Corinthians and says, Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preach to you which you received, and on which you have taken your stand. So this passage tells us right away that Paul was writing, and in his view, the gospel was that which was most important. Now, he's actually going to say those words in just a few verses, but right away we see that the Corinthians had received the gospel and had taken their stand on it. There are a lot of things that people take a stand on today. Some good, some less important. Today I want to encourage us to take a stand on the gospel. To make that be your main thing in life. Now, if you're not a believer and you're listening to these words, you're going to think, number one, what is the gospel? And that's what Paul is about to show us. And number two, why in the world would I take my stand on it? In answer to those questions, Paul says in verse 2, By this gospel you are saved, if you hold firmly to the word I preach to you. Otherwise you've believed in vain. So it tells us that we are saved by believing the gospel. And then he says in verse 3, For what I pass, uh, received, I passed on to you as of first importance. What's most important? This message right here is of first importance. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. So this tells us what's most important. Now, the church today has largely relegated that message to be only a message of salvation. It's how we get saved and then we move on. And thereby, they relinquish or, rel or push that message aside, saying it only applies to unbelievers who need to get saved. And I'd like to show, and I think we'll see from our studies, that that message not only saves us, it sets us free. It sets us apart from the world. It matures us in Christ. It stabilizes us so that we're not tossed to and fro. For what I received, I passed on as first importance that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. This isn't a message that Paul made up. This is not a new message by any means. The scriptures he's referring to are the Old Testament scriptures. And the Old Testament scriptures point to the death of Jesus to save us from our sins. Verse 4, that he was buried, that's the proof that he died. That he was raised on the third day, he's alive. All other religions have a dead religious leader. Jesus Christ not only died and was buried, but was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, so that the Old Testament scriptures speak about, teach us about the resurrection of Jesus from the dead long before he ever came and was born in a manger in Bethlehem that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he appeared to Peter, then to the twelve, 
After that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. What's he saying? He's saying that Jesus was raised from the dead and seen by many people, most of whom are still alive. In other words, if Jesus didn't really raise from the dead, if what Paul was saying was kind of made up in his mind, well, these people could come and correct him. They're still alive. They could refute his statements. Of course, there was no refutation because Jesus was raised from the dead on the third day, according to the Old Testament scriptures, which pointed forward to both his death and his resurrection. What's most important? Jesus died on a cross for your sin, just like the Old Testament taught. As proof, he was buried. Then he raised on the third day, just like the Old Testament taught. And the proof is he was seen by many people, all of whom could come and testify. This is what's most important. In our next video, I'm going to show you an illustration of this most important principle. If you found this video helpful, click the subscribe button below. If you'd like notifications of future videos, click the bell icon and select all.